Hey what's up guys, Tech Titan here and I am back again with a brand new video. So before I begin this video as always, I want to thank you all so much for watching this one. If you enjoy my content, leave a thumbs up, also subscribe to the channel, follow me on Instagram right down below. So in today's video I'm going to be doing a strictly performance test on the Samsung Galaxy A10e, which the final review of this one is coming up. I'm rounding up all the, all the, um, all the necessary pillars that will make a good budget of phones like the camera, the display, the design. So we're going to start this performance test by talking about some specs of the phone. So this phone has 32 gigabytes of storage, 2 gigabytes of RAM, so it, so it has an 8 core processor, 2 of the cores are clocked at 1.56 gigahertz and 6 of them are clocked at 1.35 gigahertz. So I'm going to be doing a benchmark test later on and so we're going to do a CPU test, the GPU test and now let's go ahead and launch some basic apps. So let's start with the phone app. So three, two, one, uh, the messaging app, Google Chrome, and the camera app. Okay. So for the basics, so for the basic apps, it does it quickly, and there's little to no animation, which helps speed up the phone or give you the impression that it's faster than what it actually is. Okay, let's go ahead and launch our benchmark. We'll start with Antutu be uh, benchmark. Okay, and this just basically tells you more specs. And the the GPU on here is the Mali G71. So the processor on here is the Exynos 7885. So the battery capacity is the 2920 milliamp hour battery. And like I said, we'll do a battery test. Uh, the current temperature of the phone is 84. And yeah, that's really basically some more spec. Now as far as Geekbench goes, well, let's go ahead and run our Geekbench tests. So we'll start with the CPU, which is an Exynos chip. So let's go ahead and run to the CPU. So CPU scores are in. So on the single core we get 1156, on the multi core we get 3526. Now let me show you what these compare to. So let's start with a single core. So the 1156, if we go down the list, it is comparable to, you could say, it is comparable to the Huawei Nexus 6P from a few years back. So this used to have the Snapdragon 810, remember that was a flagship processor. So not too shabby for a phone that only costs $120. Okay, so as far as the multi-score goes, it has a 3526. So basically, um, the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 has double the score of the Galaxy A10e. Now, well, this score is pretty much comparable to, let's see. So it's comparable to the Galaxy S6 and the Xiaomi Mi 5. So right in between those two. So now let's go ahead and do the GPU test. So three, two, one. So GPU test is in and we get a score of 2793. So we kind of expected, um, it's definitely in the budget world, that's for sure. And as you guys can see also, so this phone claims two gigabytes of RAM. The usable RAM is 1.66 gigabytes, which yeah, I mean, I know some of you guys are furious right now because of this number, but yeah, this is definitely unacceptable in terms of RAM. Okay, so without, the, so without doing the battery test, I'm gonna give you guys, I'm gonna tell you guys how the battery performs. This is actually a pretty good battery. It's definitely gonna last you pretty much all day in light to mid use. Now, if you plan on playing games all day, keep a charger on you. Okay, so now, as far as games go, I only have two installed, which will be enough to test out the actual day-to-day -day gaming. Okay, so let's go ahead and see how fast it launches Subway Surfer or Subway Surf. Subway Surfer. <laughs> It took a little extra second, but Oops. okay. So as far as the game itself, it runs smoothly, and I mean this doesn't really require a lot of um, a lot of a lot of graphics power, but like like I said, for light games, this this phone should do it no problem. 
Um, I can't personally see if it's dropping frames or not, but yeah, it's it's definitely good. All right, now let's go ahead and launch Temple Run 2. All right. Do you, do you guys even still play this game? This game, I haven't seen. I haven't seen a lot of people play this game in a while. Uh, okay, the light games are pretty smooth on it. Now, heavy demanding games like PUBG and things like that, they will also run smooth if you get your settings, if you get your graphics settings right. And yeah, so here's the real. So here's where the real test actually is going to take place. So we're going to do a quick RAM test. So I have all these app, apps open in the background. Let's see if it kept them open. So the phone app. Nope. The messaging app. Yeah. Google Chrome. Okay. The camera app. Now the benchmarks. So. Alright, it kept it open in the background. Geekbench 4. Nope. It took a little extra second and had to reload, so Subway Surfer. Okay, definitely not. So, Temple Run 2. Nope. Okay, so it's not going to keep apps open in the background, especially um, games. Yeah, 2 gigabytes of RAM is definitely unacceptable. But, here's what I do have to say in my final words on the performance of the Samsung Galaxy A10e. Overall, in terms of RAM, it's unacceptable. It's not really that good at all, as you guys saw. But for actual gaming and things like that, it does a pretty good job. Uh, I'm happy with the performance in gaming. The phone app, the messaging app, Google Chrome, the camera, and launching of lightweight apps, it's also pretty good. The benchmarks, as you guys saw, they're pretty comparable to uh, a, few year, a few years old flagships. So yeah, for a phone that only costs 120 so far, the performance is definitely pretty good. The battery life on here is also pretty good. Um, it's it's definitely a little bit above average. Nothing more though. So yeah, I want to end it here. So I want to end it here. So thank you all so much for watching this one. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. And I will be doing a comparison between this phone and other Samsung phones. And also I will be rounding up the full review. So subscribe, stay tuned for that. And I will thank you all. I want to thank you all so much for watching this one.